Hi everyone, this is Teacher Chain of Teach Talk. Where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Shensha Amazing! Kung saan pag-uusapan natin ang mga science concepts from grade 7 to grade 12. Kasama ang topics in general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, Bida Ngagha! In our Shansha Amazing episode for today, pag-uusapan natin ang wind system in the Philippines. First, let's differentiate temperature and pressure. In our discussion about the wind systems in the Philippines, we need to take note and be familiar with the keywords temperature and pressure. Temperature is defined as the measure of the average kinetic energy or energy of motion of the molecules na nasa isang object, indicated by the rise and fall of the column of mercury in a thermometer. On the other hand, pressure is defined as the force exerted on a surface divided by its area covered. We commonly use the units degree Celsius, Fahrenheit, or Kelvin in describing the quantity of temperature while we commonly use Pascal in quantifying pressure. To understand the reasons why we have certain wind systems in the Philippines, Kailangan malaman muna natin kung saan located at kung ano ang status ng Philippines in terms of the world distribution of temperature, world distribution of pressure, and the general direction of winds on the Earth. This image shows us the world distribution of temperature. Nasaan ang Pilipinas dito? We are located here. We are included in the tropical zone or the tropics. Ito ay ang region of the Earth surrounding the equator. It is said to be the warmest climate zone. In this picture, we can see the world distribution in terms of pressure. H stands for high and L stands for low. Nasaan ang Pilipinas dito? We are located here, just right above the equator. We are between high and low pressure zones. What does this imply? It implies that the Philippines both experience clouds and precipitation because of low pressure and also dry weather and mostly clear skies because of high pressure. Our next picture illustrates the wind system of the Earth. Nasaan ang Pilipinas dito? We are somewhere over here. We experience the northeast trade winds. Thus, it is one of our major wind systems here in the Philippines. Ano ang northeast trade winds? Trade winds are winds that blow east to west sa north o sa south part ng equator. Ang northeast trade winds ay trade winds that blow from the northeast. Kaya pinatawag silang northeast trade winds. These winds dominate most of the tropics and subtropics throughout the world. Let's have another trivia. Did you know trade winds were named or termed as trade winds because they originated on the fact that they were most useful to sailboats who carried on trade or commerce?
also called the high peak season because it brings the best weather conditions. Ang hangin ay malamig, konti lang ang ulan, humidity is low, plus the sunshine is less threatening. Ang second monsoon ay tinatawag na southwest monsoon o ang hanging habagat. The southwest monsoon comes from the southeast trade winds and curves in the southwest direction as it crosses the equator. Kaya naging southwest monsoon ang kanyang official name. Its direction is from southwest and south and we usually feel hanging habagat during the months of May to October. It is characterized by frequent rainfall and high humidity. Kaya ang flash floods and landslides are regular incidents during the Habagat season, so we should always be careful. The prevailing winds in our country are somewhat changed in different places or localities. Depende kung meron silang extensive coastline, various mountain ranges, or lakes and other bodies of water. The winds which are present in these localities are called local winds. They are best represented by land and sea breezes. The wind blowing from the sea is called the sea breeze, while the wind blowing from the land is called the land breeze. So kung ano ang source ng wind ay siyang mag-indicate kung ano ang pangalan ng breeze. The sea breeze occurs during daytime. During daytime, land heats faster compared to water. This is because water has higher heat capacity. The warm air on the land rises, helps in forming clouds, and cools down. When air becomes cooler, it sinks. The sinking air spreads along the surface to replace the rising warm air. This flow of air from the sea toward the land is called the sea breeze. On the other hand, land breeze occur during nighttime. During this time, the sun has minimal effect. The land cools down and by this time, the water in the sea is already warm. The warm air over the sea rises, cools down, then sinks, and this cool air replaces the rising warm air from the sea, forming the land breeze. Aside from the prevailing winds and local winds in the Philippines, we also need to be familiar with the Intertropical Convergence Zone, or ITCZ. Remember the Northeast Trade Winds and Southeast Trade Winds? What happens when these trade winds meet at the equatorial region? It forms the Intertropical Convergence Zone, or the ITCZ. Ano ang ITCZ? Let's zoom in. When the warm, moist air charging from the northeast trade winds and southeast trade winds meet at the equatorial region, they force the air upward, o pataas. The rising warm air is known as doldrums. It results in a low-pressure zone at the equatorial region. This region lacks a significant amount of wind and cloudy and rainy. In this picture, you can see two lines, the red line showing the July ITCZ and the blue line showing the January ITCZ. Bakit nagbabago ang position ng ITCZ throughout the year? It is because the ITCZ shifts towards the area of greatest solar radiation or rays from the sun. Thus, it moves northward during March to May when it is summer in the Northern Hemisphere and it moves southward during September to February when it is summer in the Southern Hemisphere. Ang ITCZ ay nagdudulot ng high cloudiness, frequent thunderstorms, and heavy rainfall. 
Before we have a short quiz about our discussion in this Shensha Amazing episode, let's have an outline of the topics we have discussed. Today, we talked about the wind system in the Philippines. We discussed the difference between temperature and pressure, the world distribution of temperature, pressure, and winds. We also talked about prevailing winds in the Philippines, monsoons, which are amihan and habagat, local winds, which are land and sea breezes, and finally, we discussed a little about the ITCZ. It's good time! To check how much you have learned in this Shensh Amazing episode, we will give you a 3-minute quiz. After 3 minutes, we will check if your answers are correct. Let's start! Your 3 minutes is over. Let's check if your answers are correct. Number 1. The cooler air from the land rushes toward the sea, replacing the warm air that rose from the sea. We have a key word. Kahit medyo mahabang question, ang given item, we just need to find the key words or the clues. The clue is the phrase, cooler air from the land. Land ang source, kaya ang answer, I land breathe. Number 2. These are the months when we experience the northeast monsoon and northeast trade winds. Kung hindi mo anamang sagot sa northeast trade winds na part, just take note of northeast monsoon o ang hanging amihan. We experience this from November to February. Number 3. A rising warm air that results in a low pressure zone 
at the equatorial region. Remember ITCZ? Ano ang tawag sa word which describes the low pressure zone of rising warm air? Ito'y tinatawag na doldrums. Number 4. The cooler air from the sea rushes toward the land, replacing the warm air. This is just like number 1. We need to find the key words, which is cooler air from the sea. Sea ang source, kaya ang sagot ay sea breeze. Number 5. It is also called southwest monsoon. This is easy. The answer is Habaga. That ends our 5 item quiz. Please comment your score over 5 in the comment section below so that we can check them out. That ends our Shensha Amazing episode for today. We hope you learned a lot. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends so that we can learn together. Bye!